hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and i'm here with you guys today with a new vlog so this is probably the first time that i'm starting off my vlog in a hot minute where i'm done um where i'm not in a scuffle and all of that all of that so uh, welcome to a new vlog this is going to be a weekly vlog today is saturday august 14th and i just ended last week's vlog and i'm starting this week's vlog so today i am done up because i just recorded two youtube videos i just recorded my uh, bottega bonetta unboxing and i recorded my top five foundations and I'm getting ready now to head out to outside, okay? We are going outside, and I'm about to get dressed real quick. So before we get started with this vlog, make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below, and let's go ahead and get started. Why don't we? So I just recorded i didn't record this makeup look because i was in a rush but these lashes girl these lashes are from a black oh my god it looks like i have a hickey these mosquitoes ate me up when i was working out they said you want to be snatched <laughs> we got to be snatched too give us your blood but um yeah these lashes are from a black owned business and mixed by may and a stop blake i absolutely love these lashes and yeah i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna put on i have an idea but I literally don't know where half of my clothes are. So I think I'm going to put on these Levi shorts. Y'all see me wear these a couple of times. But I told y'all when I bought them that y'all going to see me wear them over and over and over again. So let me put these on because I currently don't have on any pants. I feel like I lost a couple pounds already. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. Can y'all see? But these shorts, Levi's from Urban Outfitters. And I'm going to put on, I want to put on this shirt. This is super cute. I want to put this on with these sneakers. Let me make y'all witness my struggle. Y'all know the struggle of me getting a pair of sneakers to wear. I got to play Tetris. Jenga. All of that. These go? They go? I don't know. Does it go? I don't want to look stupid. I definitely want to wear these sneakers. So let me just take them out. I got these from StockX. Because I really wanted them. And I still haven't worn them. Today's the day, mamas. Today's the day. Y'all, them mosquitoes in my backyard ate me up. Oh my god. But look what my mom bought today. And what was the last time y'all had one of these? It's been a minute. I said, let me drink this before I put my real shirt on. A tropical punch flavor. Is that girl, okay? And then you still have to drink the little thing in here, like the little juice droplets. And then if you wanted to save the rest for later, you will put this in. Put it like this to save it for later. Comment and let me know if y'all remember these kool-aid jam what these these are called kool-aid burst jammers i think they taste even better as an adult okay so i changed i just put on my skims bodysuit um put y'all down i put on my skims bodysuit the levi shorts my yeezy 700 statics and i'm carrying my dior waist bag i'll probably just carry it um like this for now and then put it on my waist after i don't know my fragrance today is going to be the twilly de Hermes. so i'm gonna go ahead and drench myself in it boom i'm wearing my hair down so let me let my hair down rapunzel and i have on these huge silver hoops i just feel like they give the outfit an edgy look but um yeah i'm heading out now before i me put some <laughs> re-up on my deodorant i gotta fit my keys in this bag too i could barely even fit my friggin thoughts in this in this bag oh i need headphones for my look all right okay i'm heading out now i vlog on my phone i try to remember to vlog don't hold me to it 
but I'm gonna head out. <laughs> o'clock what what not me not Kendra not Kinstatic <sighs> I'm no I'm not hungover though I'm not hungover because all I drank was 42 straight and Vespa Strato straight okay that's why I drink straight that's why I don't mix my drinks because I never have a hangover yeah I just woke up I'm about to finish uploading today's video yeah i'm about to finish uploading today's video so it can go up and then i'm gonna lay down and watch all american and then edit tomorrow's video and lay down and watch raw house so i have to potomac and then go to and then go to bed so i'm not really doing anything exciting today nothing exciting today just in the house relaxing and chilling because tomorrow i have um an event to go to with the brand which you guys are gonna see and then um nobody's having her birthday party tomorrow so tomorrow's going to be a lot so today i said let's say low key and yeah so let me go ahead and put this up and i'll be back i just got a package so the event i'm going to tomorrow is eden body works 17th anniversary like celebration event and for the theme they told everybody to wear green and i didn't have anything green in my closet but i knew i wanted to wear my amina muwadi heels because i still haven't wore them so i went on amazon because amazon be having the goods okay so i don't know if y'all know but amazon so I got this dress. It's this emerald green satin dress. She obviously needs to be pressed out. But I'm going to try it on and hopefully it fits. Because if not, I don't know what I'm going to wear. <laughs> yeah. Let me show y'all. Because <laughs> mm. if it just fits so nice. Can y'all see? Dress fits so nice. The zipper broke. The zipper legit broke <sighs> this is gonna be a t2 honey and it has like a nice stretch to it so either i'm gonna have to try to bring it to my tailor tomorrow to give it a new zipper which i don't know if i really want to do because it's such a cheap dress let me see i am stressed out because i really have nothing else to wear i have nothing else to wear wow my life right now if i order it again it won't get here until wednesday so either i'm going to have to bring this to my tailor tomorrow which i really don't have time to do because as i told you guys i have a lot to do tomorrow so either i'm gonna have to find time to bring it there or i don't know if i could find i wouldn't trust like a local and it's a long zip too I'm just going to look at my closet and find something else. And it's just is going back. Because there's no reason why I just opened it. And the zipper broke. So, yeah. It's me limping around with one shoe on right now. But hey guys, it's Monday, August 16th. And I just got ready for a Novi's party. So, I'm just wearing something real cute, real simple. Uh, let me show you guys real quick. So, I'm wearing this two-piece step from Pretty Little Thing. And then I'm wearing my Christian Louboutin. Mount Fatina Hughes and I'm wearing my Chanel domino earrings out 
and I just beat my face. So, um, I have to tell you guys about it and go to the event early. I'll tell you guys tomorrow because I'm running late right now. And, oh, I wanted to show you guys a quick perfume trick. Let me bring you out over here if I have space. I still lump in with one shoe on. So, my fragrance for tonight is YSL Libre. And Q taught me this trick that you take your perfume and you never, in general, spray your perfume on your clothes. You always spray it on your skin because the oils of your skin mix with, like, the oils of the perfume. So I like to spray here and then rub it on my wrist. And you're supposed to spray, like, the whole back of your neck. So I tried this the other day and my perfume lasted so long. Oh, I smelled it more because you know when people hug you, they come, like, right here. They smell it right away. And then I spray the um back stuff in my knee too. Boom. And I'm smelling like a like a rich bitch. Like a rich bitch. Like a rich bitch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go. I'm bringing my phone. So I will try to vlog on my phone. Um but yeah. <laughs> hey guys it's days later it's currently wednesday august 18th is it the 18th yeah it's the 18th so monday was novi's party was fun yesterday i just worked and then i just finished season three of all american the way that season ended i think cw wants these hands because what like why did it end like that yeah i finished that yesterday and then today i'm back on my sugar honey icy i worked out monday i didn't work out yesterday but i'm gonna work out today so my plan for today the reason i cut on this vlog is because i'm doing some stuff for work now and then i want to work out and then I want to go downtown to Saks to return my first pair of Bottega boots because the ones from Nordstrom came yesterday. So I'm going to take you guys downtown with me. And when I'm there, I think I want to get a new fragrance. We're going to see. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and finish what I have to do for work. I'll pick up my camera once I'm working out. Hopefully it doesn't rain because I want to work out outside. So we'll see. But, yeah. So I am ready. I'm about to head downtown to run a couple of errands. So I'm taking my camera with me. Oh, let me pack my other battery. But I'm going to head out now because I'm trying to make it to El Banco by El Cinco O'Clock. So I'll see you guys there. It's so hot downtown, but I just left from Wolfert and I got an item, so I'll show you guys when I get home, but your girl is hot, she's sweating, she's scorching up. Hey you guys, I'm home now as you guys can see. I didn't vlog that much while I was outside because my crimp started kicking in because my period should be here any day now. So I really just wanted to get everything I had to do outside done and come home to my bed as you guys see me pictured in right now. So yeah, so I'm a happy girl now. And I was hungry, and y'all know the rules. I'm not buying food outside. So I scurried my tail feather home so I can eat the food I have in the house. So, yeah, I didn't vlog that much outside. But I did pick up a few things. I'll show you guys tomorrow because, honestly, I'm about to do my skincare and go to sleep because... I'm not... Like, I'm tired. Not I'm tired, but I know my bedtime is approaching. And... I'm just like not in the mood and oh the reason I came on here is because <laughs> when I was on my way home I got a DM from Instagram well I got a DM I'll go ahead and put a screenshot over here and I'm like walking home so I'm not really like in my phone because when I'm outside I be on alert so I'm like what the heck because first of all it's from this page uh, what was the name of it? Creator Help Station, whatever. 
And you know how, like, if you've never direct message or spoke to someone via DM before, Instagram puts their message that they send you in your message request. This message, like, automatically comes to my primary inbox. So I'm confused because I'm like, whenever someone DMs you for the first time, it goes to your message request. So I'm like, then I'm reading the message and there were a couple things that were off. I'm never going to go through it. I have a corporate job. We do fishing um, trainings two, three times a year. So I already noticed it's not real but i'm just confused because i'm like how did you get here like who put you in my prim in my primary inbox because my primary inbox is only for people that i really fuck with so what are you doing here who invited you well uh, so yeah i posted on my stories i asked if anyone got it before everybody was like don't click the link don't click the link i already knew not to click it but one i was confused because i'm like how did you get to my primary inbox and two i wanted to post it just in case um just in case like other people get the message they know like you know it's not true so yeah i um i'm just like <laughs> i don't want to say i'm over today but i'm just tired like i did a lot today i worked i worked out i went all the way downtown and also when i was downtown i remembered how unfriendly people are like i don't really go downtown if i do go downtown it's like to my friend's house or i'm going out like with my friends like i'm going to a location most of the times i take a cab i took the train today you know but um yeah like people were just like pushing attitudes arguing and i'm just like where's the peace Where's the peace? Why is everyone so upset? Why is everyone so angry? <sighs> so, yeah. All of that just drained my energy a couple of levels. But I'm just, like, in a relaxed mood right now. So, I'm going to go do my nighttime skincare and go to bed because I'm going to wake up early to work out tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm home. Jeez. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's Thursday, August 19th, and it's currently, what time is it? It's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm not in a drop top, not cruising the streets, <laughs> but um, I got some packages today, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. All of these things I'm going to show you guys in my fall collective haul, which should be uploaded next week or the week after. I'm just waiting for one more item at this point. Because me, I keep buying things, buying things, buying things. And if I keep buying things, buying things, buying things, the video is going to be an hour long. And it's never going to end. Like, I'm never going to know when to upload it. So, I got this suit from H&M. I'm actually going to try it on right now because I need to make sure it fits. So, yeah, we'll get a little sneak peek or whatever. So, is this a, like, blazer, like, sleepless blazer? And the pants to go with it to match i seen this and the model i put a picture here on h&m's website she had on like sneakers with it and i'm like oh this is a tee so let me just make sure these fit each of these pieces were 30 dollars. i'll have a link down below in case y'all want to cop it before my video because it is selling out so yeah let me try it on real quick or whatever i got the pants in a size six and I love that the pants have an elastic across the back. Because I hate dress pants that have no stretch, no nothing. Like, it's either you fit it or you don't. They said, are you big or are you not? Like, are you thick or are you not? The elastic on the waist gives, like, you know, more leeway. So, okay, let me show y'all how it looks. I hate this light in the back. Better for, yeah, put this light on. Okay, better. So, this is how it fits. I got a small in the blazer. I think yeah I got a small in the sleeveless jacket and I got a size 6 in the ankle length pants so I low key could have done an extra small but the oversized look is a T you know what I'm saying I'm saying so yeah this is the blazer and then these are the pants so I like it it fits to my liking I plan on wearing this with a pair of sneakers and someone like a little <laughs> streetwear look so that'll be coming soon but yeah let me button this so <laughs> i look like a box or gray refrigerator hello 
general electric and then the next thing that i got were these sneakers so i got these from the sneakers app these are the pollen jordan ones and i love how the box is like yellow and black instead of red and black which is the usual box for jordans now so oh these are really nice i thought that this panel would have been suede and the crazy thing is i was thinking about selling these but since the whole thing is like this leather material i'm definitely keeping them oh so cute uh, uh, love them and then they come with white laces too so i got these in a size six which is my usual size in jordan so i'm not even gonna try it on well in jordan ones most jordans yeah <laughs> but yeah super cute i got these let me show y'all what i got yesterday so i told you guys that i went in wolford and made some terrible decisions listen i was not even anticipating i'm put y'all up so y'all can see me i was not even anticipating one going in the store and two buying anything but i went in the store and i wanted pieces from their shuri collection um i wanted the pink crop top and the leggings to go but they only had mediums and larges in the pink color so i'm like mm, i don't want to get another color that i don't want so let me just wait so i was like let me try when she said i could try it on i'm like oh let me try on the bodysuit because i don't know my size in the bodysuit hold on let me take a picture for my thumbnail so i was like let me try on the bodysuit because I don't know my size in the bodysuit. They have the size guide online, but some people are like, oh, go up in size. Some people are like, go down in size. So I'm like, what is a T? So let me let me try it on for you guys real quick, just so you guys can see how it fits. And I can tell you guys about the sizing. So this is how they package it in the store. I think if you order it online, it comes in like a box, but so i got the black matte deluxe body forming bodysuit y'all this thing let me just put it on so y'all can see what i'm speaking about okay okay so this is how it fits you guys snatch girls sitting okay who is telling me anything so nice let me show y'all And it could be worn strapless or you can like cross the straps. It's a whole bunch of different things you could do. But let me tell y'all how much I paid. It was $250 and after tax it came to $272. So and I used my Apple card, so I got 2% cash back. So another perk of having the Apple card, you get cash back. So yeah. <laughs> it's so for game good i have everything linked down below so i got that from go forward from sephora i got another estee lauder double wear foundation i just showed you guys this foundation and my top favorite foundations for acne prone skin why is it not focusing but yeah i got another one of these in the shade sandalwood and then i got a laneige lip balm because i'm running low and i like to have at least 10 at a time because they're that good <sighs> Not my family turning up, and then I got this dress from Zara because I'm going to Summer Jam on Sunday, so I needed something to wear. I went in Zara, and this was like the only thing I really found that I somewhat liked. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but I'll try it on for you guys to see because also my period's coming. So if I'm on my period Sunday, I'm not wearing this dress, I'm gonna have to wear like pants or shorts because that's what I feel comfortable in so i'm gonna try this on so that y'all can see but if i don't end up wearing it on sunday it's going back okay this is how the dress fits on let me cover my look but this how it fits i like it i found this dress from kyra amanique to blog she did like a little zara haul and i was like oh this is cute so i think i might wear these with some sneakers we'll see but that's everything i got yesterday and everything that came in the mail today i'm about to finish packaging my giveaways for instagram um have some dinner just chill out and relax i was gonna go to the grocery store today but it was so hot and now that the sun has set i'm like i don't feel like leaving the house so i'm gonna do that tomorrow so um 
yeah let me go ahead and do my do everything will be linked down below everything i just showed you guys so the links will be down below and when you guys shop any of my links in my description box i do get a small commission i'm not sure if i discussed this with you guys ever or if i haven't discussed it in a while but i do get a small commission so if you guys ever see anything in my description box or things i show you guys in videos and y'all want to buy it make sure y'all shop through my links if y'all can but yeah so i'll do my do and i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys it's friday august 20th and i'm about to head to cynthia to get my facial you guys will see that in tomorrow's vlog my maintenance vlog so i'm gonna record basically everything besides that so outfit real quick i have on this tear new york shirt these tear shorts vintage tear i'm throwing on my white nike riffs comfy cute these are my go-to shoes if you know you know i need some more deodorant because i'm not trying to smell in these streets if it's one thing i don't like it's bad hygiene don't do that we don't like that today's fragrance hmm Hmm, what I feel like smelling like? Do I feel like smelling edible or do I feel like smelling <laughs> conservative? What is it giving? What is it giving? Hmm. I think I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on my chance by Chanel. She's running real low. I need a restock. Yo! Yo. Okay, so when I come back, I was editing. I need to speak to you guys about why I didn't go to that event on Monday and this whole sephora selfie yes but we're gonna speak about it when i get back because i'm low-key running late so yeah and then i have on these little earrings these are just givenchy earrings that i got from macy's just some little cheap studs but i just wanted something silver small dainty so yeah let's head out now okay so my facial is done i'm about to walk to foodway so cynthia recommended i go there like for groceries but i was gonna go to target but she told me to go here so it used to be a fairway so i'm gonna go here real quick see what i could get and then go home because i'm tired Oh my god, a bee, a bee, a bee, a bee, a bee, a bee, a bee. away from me don't walk away from me honey i got nothing kim don't you dare walk away from me nothing, nothing. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday, August 21st, and I literally just woke up. Like, I woke up, I took my morning tinkle tinkle, and I'm about to work out. Um, so in the mornings, when I'm like not struggling to work out, but when I need like that extra push, I just get up and put my clothes on. And I always work out before I do anything, before I shower, before I brush my teeth, before I wash my face. I just work out to get it out the way. So I just put on 
this little Nike tank top. I think I'm going to only do abs this morning because of the time. Because it's currently 9.27. And I have brunch with Shani at 1. So, um, I have to leave here by like 11.30. So, yeah. We'll see how much I could get done. But today's, this morning's workout is going to be a light workout. Let me charge my phone. I'm literally the queen of being home with a dead phone. Like. If being home with a deaf phone was a person, it would be moi. But I just wanted to come in here real quick to speak to you guys about two things. One, why I didn't go to that event on Monday. And two, the Sephora sale. Because I remember that I had to speak to y'all about this. So the event on Monday, you guys saw that I got my dress on Sunday. The zipper broke. And Monday... I don't want to say it was a hard day for me, but I just had, like, so much to do. And whenever I feel overwhelmed, I usually just, like, shut down. Or I usually just, um, like, try to do everything and then end up burning myself out. And it's Monday. So, mind you, we still have the whole rest of the week, right? So, when the dress broke on Sunday, I was like, I could either go get it fixed or I could go, like, buy something else to wear. But in my mind, I just knew, like, that's what I wanted to wear. So, another thing I've been doing is listening to my gut and listening to my instinct of if I feel like I shouldn't be somewhere, I don't go. And it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. But whenever I feel like, I could pass or my energy is just on zero about going somewhere being somewhere or doing something I just don't do it that's just how I am like responding to my body so something told me like girl just stay home so what did I do girl I stayed home but shout out to Eden Body Works on their 17th year anniversary. Love, 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 love Eden Body Works. You guys know if you guys have been watching my channel for a while that I have been a fan of Eden Body Works. Their peppermint tea tree collection. Bang. Period. Y'all know how I feel about her. So, yeah, that was Monday. The second thing, the Sephora sale. So, let me tell y'all a thing or two. So, y'all know me. Y'all know I know when Sephora sales are expected to happen. And... We should have been expecting a Sephora sale at the end of August, early September. We usually get notified about this sale mid-August because after that, I usually do like my Sephora sale wishlist video. So here I am waiting for the sale, waiting for the sale. Halfway through the month, nothing. A few days after halfway through the month, nothing. So I'm like, this is strange. Let me do my own research. So I'm checking Trend Mood every day because Trend Mood usually posts it. Trend Mood, Trend Mood deals, nothing. I go on Twitter, because y'all know Twitter always has the tea. If y'all don't follow me on Twitter, make sure y'all do at Kinesthetic underscore. Same as my Instagram. But I go on Twitter to see, you know, what's up. And I see that this girl posted like, oh, so I can't believe Sephora expects me to use my points to like activate the sale. So I'm like... So I go on my Sephora app and I like act like I'm about to check out and go to like the point section and it's there. It says, I'll put it here. For 15% off, you must use a thousand points and for 10% off, you must use 750 points. So a couple of points of confusion, right? Because y'all know Kendra's confusion, confusion is Kendra because I'm just always confused. First of all, I'm Rouge. You mean to tell me that I, a Rouge member, don't have access to 20% off anymore? What am I giving Sephora so much money for? I'm confused. Boom, that's one. Two, as a Rouge member, I'm essentially getting the same benefits that a VIB or insider could get if you know they spend enough money and they have enough points so why am i rich again i don't get free two-day shipping anymore because there's no like two-day shipping option anymore with sephora so those are the two main things i wanted from rouge 20 percent off and the free two-day shipping and i don't even get that so why am i still spending so much money with the sephora's why then on top of that 
essentially where we've already been spending money to activate the sale if you think about it because we spend money to get to our status whether we're vip whether we're rouge we spend money to get there cool once we get there we we know the sale is coming but you mean to tell me that one we don't have access to the promo code working on several purchases because usually it'll be like oh you can use this as many times between this date and this date that's one two the sale usually opens the rouge first so you know hotter items are usually not gone but like we'll have access to like hotter items during the sale versus vip and versus insider i just have so many points of confusion but i'm here to tell you that sephora ain't having a regular sale this season okay they want us to use our points to activate the sale Comment and let me know how y'all feel about that. But I just feel like I'm not doing it. I need my 20% on. I have my whole list of things I wanted to buy. And Sephora just ruined all my plans. So maybe it's God telling me I shouldn't be spending that money. That's another thing I've been listening to. If anything happens where I can't get something. It's God telling me sis sit down. Sis close your purse. Sis close your eyes. Okay. So yeah I'm not mad about it. I'm more so confused because... Why y'all switching things up now? Sephora's revenue is even down. So I'm confused why they're even doing this. Because not as many people are going to shop during the sale. Which means you're not going to make as much money. So I don't know. Not my business. Literally and figuratively. This fall is about to be real personal. And I say that in the humblest way possible. You guys will see. Yeah. Um. This weekend. Today. I'm going to brunch with Shania at 1. And then Cynthia actually sent me this. Um, I'm going to see if I can make it. It's like an alkaline vegan event in the Bronx. So I'm like, it's right here in my backyard. Not in my backyard, but, you know, close enough to home. Because y'all know nothing be in the Bronx. I wish I could tell you guys about it before if anybody wants to go. I'll probably post it on my Instagram. I know you guys see my vlogs. You guys are like, oh my God, I wish I knew about this in advance. Follow me on Instagram, sis. Follow me on Instagram because I try to post everything that I'm going to before I go. So that if y'all want to go, y'all have an opportunity to go. But I literally just found out about this yesterday. It's a vegan bodeguita. So, yeah, I'm going to try to go and see, you know, what they have. But I'm going to brunch. So, to me, it's like, am I really going to go there and eat again? But knowing myself, I am. Some good vegan food. Count me in. So, I'm probably going to go to that tomorrow. I'm supposed to be going to Summer Jam, but let me see what the weather says. Because this said 100% rain. And I said, if it's going to rain on me, then the only person who needs to be performing is Ashanti. <laughs> so, oh, it says 80% now. But, yeah, I don't know. Because, you know, I mean, the rain isn't going to stop the show. But at the same time, like, being outside in the rain is just very draining and a lot. So, I'm going to see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Also, I told you guys my period is coming. So, my mood is just like, eh, uh, <laughs> eh, uh. we shall see. But I'm going to get up now and do my little workout. And I'll come back when I'm getting ready so you guys can see how I get ready. I'm not putting on makeup because I did get my facial yesterday and I got extractions. So, I have a good amount of purging occurring, especially here. As you guys can see. So, I'm not going to put on makeup. I'll probably just spice up my eyebrows maybe put on like a calm little lash or something i don't know but i'm not putting on like a full face but yeah let me go work out battery dying but hey god let me make sure my other one is charged so i'm back i just got ready um i'm about to head out to go to brunch with shani i just put on some sunglasses so i could be a little low key <laughs> but um yeah i'm just wearing my hair down i'll show you guys my outfit real quick and then i gotta go okay so i'm wearing these sunglasses that i got from amazon let me put this light on sunglasses amazon shirt billionaire boys club but i bought it from nordstrom i showed you guys in a previous haul bag gucci soho bag red biker shorts forever 21 sneakers nike panda dunk highs and yeah so I'm heading out now. I'll see you guys once I get there. I lied. Let me put my little watch on. I, I really like these sunglasses. This is my first time like actually wearing them. I think. So they're tea. I'll have the link down below. Let me put some more deodorant on. Y'all should know how I feel about 
my deodorant. I also have a whole pack of deodorant under my arms. And then my fragrance of the day is going to be C by Giorgio Armani. And then the neck trick I told y'all about. Get it on and pop it behind my knees. Okay. Smell a little good. Smell like a what? A rich bitch. Let's go. Okay, so I just got off the train. Um, Shani's not answering her phone, and the reservation is at one. It's currently 12 43. So, if anything, I'm just gonna go by myself, little solo date. So, yeah, let me go ahead and make sure I get there at one. This is one of my favorite places, Flor de Mayo. I don't know if they, oh, they open at one. I'm so thirsty, like rosé me please, lemonade me please. I feel like my glasses, they kind of dirty, but thank you. started the whole you need the vaccine to sit indoors which is cool fine i'll be in my house eating i wasn't um pressed about it i mean i'm just sitting outside having brunch by myself real quick so little um solo day i got my airpods i have my phone and yeah hello how are you doing hi i'm good would you like to start with anything to drink um the guy just took my drink order the oh, other guy no problem. just want to make sure okay you're... thank okay, you so much right. Thank you. Thank you. It's more of like a cheese party. I'm dead sitting on somebody's backyard chair. I really want to see how long this vaccinated to sit and do a thing is gonna last because I give it two months before restaurants are crying for people to come in to eat because <laughs> or they're just not gonna be listening so we'll see but it is what it is I'll be at home eating because y'all know I got groceries at home this is just a little treat for myself so yeah solo day first solo day I think ever. Maybe I did this before, but I didn't consider it a solo date, so yeah, here we are. Shani ended up coming like an hour after I sat down to eat. So I don't know if it was really a solo day, but we were there talking for hours. So it was so nice seeing her. I missed her so much. I did haven't seen her in like, I want to say more than a year. Yeah. So it was long overdue, but I'm home now. <laughs> so happy because I'm tired and we're supposed to be getting like a tropical storm tomorrow. Y'all don't say girl, but I'm inside and I got my groceries. So y'all know I am fine and I am okay. So 
I wanted to show you guys a new like snack or dessert that I picked up. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday when I went to Foodway, that grocery store. I mainly got my regular groceries, so I didn't think it would make sense to show you guys like in haul, a haul. But if y'all want to continue seeing hauls, I'll show you guys. But if I get new things, I'll definitely show you guys with the regular stuff. I feel like y'all already know. I'll probably show the regular stuff like once in a blue. Just so that like, you know, if people are new, then you guys can see what I get from the grocery store. But if you guys watch my vlogs all the time, it's kind of like, damn girl, you're going to show us these bagels that you got the last vlog and the last, last vlog. It's just kind of repetitive, you know. So I got this new dessert I want to show you guys. So let's go to La Cocina. What are you no. recording? You. Doing what? Cooking. What are you making? Uh, fried. Fried fish. Fried fish. What kind of fish? How do you say it? Go on. Go on and look at it and tell. How do you say it? Salmon. Salmon? It's salmon. I, what, what do you know, Kendra? Uh-uh. <laughs> And she got it seasoned up. Okay. What are you making with it? Uh, the broccoli there. Okay. And white rice. There's always food in this house. That's one thing uh, about Margaret's white menu. Rice. Okay. Nice and steamy hot. You want to see the salmon? The what? The salmon in the oven. I bake in too, you know. Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh, it's the options for me, honey. Let me see. Let us see. We real nosy. Hold on, hold on, oh. hold on a second. Uh. <laughs> Give me a moment. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me stepping on you, honey. <laughs> okay. Listen, she is not one of them. Okay. She said, "I'm giving y'all fried Maria baked. It looks so good. I wish I could eat this." Okay. It's time to take it out or no? Mm. I have to leave it a few more. I'm just going to see how it tastes. Okay. Maybe we could do like a cooking with Margaret menus video. Yeah, one of these days. No, girl, like tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Comment and let us know. Oops. And let us know what dish you would like for us to record cooking. What's the options? I have salmon. Well, we could do salmon. Mm -hmm. Um. We did oxtail already. Yeah. So what's the other options we could do? You want to do um, bacalao. Okay, so salmon, bacalao, which is selfish. Yeah. And what's the other option? Let's give them three options. Uh, Maybe some other type of meat because it's fish fish. Um, what kind of chicken maybe? Curry chicken. Okay, or curry chicken. Comment and let us know what you guys would like to see from the first cooking video and we could do that right right correct okay big m <laughs> <laughs> so my homegirl suli did a um a sponsorship with this brand van lewin which is like an ice cream brand they have like shops all over the city in new york i don't know about other cities but she did a sponsorship with them for their ice cream that they sell in the supermarket like to eat at home so i was just there like you know exploring options i'm like you know i want to support my girl i want to support the brand blah 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 so i picked these up these are their vegan brown sugar honeycomb ice cream bars and these are made with oat milk and they only have tree nuts which are coconut which is coconut and soy in them so i tried one it was really good so if you guys are looking for a new dessert try this out and tag Van Lewin so that you know they know and also I came up with my hashtag so I want to tell you guys about that I'll go in my room so I'm not interrupting the menu so 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 let me tell you guys so if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys know I'll put y'all here If y'all follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I have been trying to figure out a hashtag for the longest. I wanted to curate a hashtag so that whenever you guys buy anything or do anything that I recommend or I tell you guys about in my vlogs or my Instagram stories, you guys can tag me, you guys can tag the brand, and we can like have this universal hashtag where we could just like 
be a community you know so the hashtag options you guys gave me a lot of amazing options and i finally chose one well y'all chose it so i chose the one that most of you guys went with and the hashtag is hashtag influenced me so it's like kendra influenced me type of thing i think zay was the person who recommended this hashtag so shout out to you sis but i had so many options i had kinesthetic cops i had um blame it on ken i had um gems by ken i think that was one of them but i had so many different options but the hashtag we're going with is kenfluence me so make sure you guys tag it if you guys try anything that i recommend in this vlog or anything that i recommend in general please tag me and then also tag the hashtag and tag at kinesthetic underscore so i can see it on instagram as well i love 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 when you guys tag me and things and i can see that like you know my influence is actually being felt so thank you guys so much for your continuous support and yeah and if you guys tag like anything so if you guys tag like those ice cream bars you guys can tag like hashtag can influence me at kinesthetic underscore and then it also helps when you guys tag brands so if you tag like van lewin and my name then you know they know that I'm selling their products so they could work with me. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure that you guys tag the brands if you guys feel comfortable doing that. It'll help me out. But yeah, we finally have a hashtag. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see y'all sharing things with me. And I wanted to also thank you guys for um like <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys for helping my content grow so much because it's one thing to grow your community but it's another thing to grow like your reach and grow your influence and just grow in like different areas my vlog used to average like 100 views and i'm like i like sharing my life i like coming on camera and just like having videos where i could just be like free you know what i'm saying like it's not me sitting down talking to you guys about products it's not me like being super structured it's just me being free me speaking to you guys me just sharing my everyday life with you guys and you guys seem to like them so i was looking at my channel the other day and i'm like my vlogs average like 500 views and i'm like i didn't even realize when my vlogs like i don't want to say became a thing but when they started doing so well so thank you guys so much for always tuning into my vlog and you know interacting with me commenting giving the videos thumbs up because that helps to spread it across the youtube platform too i'm super thankful for you all and i do have a couple of giveaways coming up they will be different and i'm really excited about that so make sure you guys tune into my vlogs and i would highly recommend to tune into my vlogs in a timely manner so you guys know when the giveaways are coming you guys know what the giveaways are because some of them are going to be time sensitive too so yeah i'm really excited i'm really thankful for each and every one of you guys i love you guys so so much and i can't wait to continue to grow with you guys and just have fun and hopefully connect with some of you guys in person i also wanted to tell you guys that i will be attending vegandale on september 25th so i know a lot of people who watch my channel are vegan are plant-based are like like, you know into similar diets to me so my esthetician cynthia was raving about vegan nails she was like girl you gotta go you gotta go and i went and looked and the tickets were only ten dollars so i asked a couple of people if they wanted to go and some people were like unsure didn't know yet but i was like one thing about me is i'm gonna go somewhere by myself okay so i bought my ticket to go and i posted on instagram and i told you guys if you guys are planning to go like we could link up and we could go together too so hopefully this doesn't attract any creeps but i will be at vegan nail september 25th 2021 in new york city randall's island so if you guys get tickets you guys want to go you know we can link up whatever whatever we could do a ting or two comment and let me know dm me and let me know email me and let me know and i'll be happy to like you know connect with you guys in person so yeah that's about it for this vlog because i feel like it's getting a little bit too long so if you guys made it all the way until the end make sure you guys comment down below with your favorite body care product right now <laughs> i'm feeling very like into body care right now so let me know what your favorite body care product is and i'll share mine so mine right now is the trader joe's lemongrass coconut body oil you guys this is babe if y'all go to trader joe's and y'all want to get one thing for your body get this okay get this and also lemongrass helps to like prevent mosquitoes so if you have like a lemongrass candle or you have like a lemongrass um oil in your diffuser that helps with getting rid of mosquitoes too just a little tip but this oil has been amazing it just feels so good on the skin it's lightweight and also since it's lemongrass scented it keeps the mosquitoes away so you guys know at the beginning of this vlog i was a bit up girl but i've been rubbing my body more with this before i go out and 
I've been feeling like a whole brand new bitch. So comment with your favorite body care product. Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And until my next video, which will be my maintenance vlog tomorrow, I'll see you guys later. Mwah.